Hi, welcome back to Three Talking Rabbits. I'm Gail. I'm stuffy today too. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways of cutting a quill like the kind you write with. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is with scissors and I have to tell you these are aged feathers. Um, they've been in the on my shelf for a couple years so I don't have to temper them with fire. Um, if you have a brand new feather you want to light a candle and just sort of toast your feather over the top of it. Don't like stick it right in the fire, but um, you want to give it a little bit of a toast. So here I have the feather facing up. So this is the back of the feather. This would be the part of the bird that faces up towards the sky. And we're going to face that up towards the sky to start. Okay, I'm going to hold it here like this. And I'm going to cut just the tip of it off at that angle. Okay, so I've created like a 45 degree angle there. Right here, this bit is what I'm going to actually end up writing with. Now I'm going to turn it over so that the bottom part of the feather faces up. And I am going to take a larger cut towards the back, cut that out there like that. And a lot of times this will crack as you do that. Um, it won't crack with um, the pen knife, which I'll show you next. All right, and I'm not terribly crazy about that, but now I'm gonna come in here. We're just gonna widen this a little bit. So I'm taking two or three or however many little um, bits off of there. Um, and it's not as nice as it would be with a pen knife, but it's okay-ish. Um, There we go. Okay. Now there's a pith that goes in and it gives the feather some structure and you want to pull that out. Okay. Because that'll um, catch your ink and not release it in a nice way. So this is what the feather looks like right now. It's got kind of a V shape on the end. You don't want that V shape because you can't really write with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that off. Okay. Now, there's still like a, it's very wide there, and that's going to be, that's too much of an angle to write with. Um, so I actually have to narrow that down. And your quill, the feather itself, is going to determine how much of a writing surface you get. So you're just going to trim down back and forth. Oh, hang on. You may not be seeing this. Back and forth like this until you get a surface that you can actually write with. Okay, so this is this is what this looks like right now. Okay, and then last tricky bit, you actually have to make a little snip at the end, just like that. And then your fingernail or whatever you have, you're going to scrape the inside edge here. I could have done this ahead of time. And just get that waxy stuff off because it will resist the ink. Um, when we use the pen knife, we'll actually do that with the pen knife. But this is what it looks like in the end. Okay. Um, one more thing to do. This bit right here is going to whap you in the face every single time. So you want to take your hand. You're going to go from the end to here. Right there. And we're just going to clip that right off. And these are, this is kind of a nasty feather. Um, it was in the mud. It was a drop. Always want dropped feathers. And we're just going to strip that right off. It's no longer a pretty quill, but it is a highly functional quill now. Okay? That easy. All right. Second round. We're going to use, this is a frost knife. F-R-O-S-T-S. You can buy them on Amazon. They're like, I don't know, 20 or $30. They are incredibly sharp and they have a very big shaft on them so that it, it you can really grip it in your hand. Uh, this one is a little bit big for me. I have very small hands. If you're a guy with larger hands, this is going to be absolutely perfect. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. Oh, that one's already kind of busted up. All right. So again, these are dropped feathers. They've been in my studio for a long time. So here's the back of the feather shaft. I'm going to grip it here. And now I'm always going to be pulling this towards me. 
Okay, so here's here's my um, my end. I have no fingers in the way. All right. So I cut off the top of it. Now I'm going to turn it over so the bottom bottoms up. Okay, and then I'm going to come back to about where that curve. There's a natural curve starts. See where that curve is, and I am going to cut from there in a nice neat curve she says and I'm being very careful to keep my fingers out of the way now I like to come back I'm going to do two cuts on this okay you can always come back and cut more um, so I've got that dished cut and now I'm going to come in and trim my sides like this pull the pith out okay and I think that this may have cracked oh no nope, it's just a natural deformity in the feather okay and I'm actually gonna rock this out of here this waxy substance you don't have to take it off the back because your ink doesn't go on the back this, this one has a weird shape to it. I don't know how usable that's going to be. Uh, we're just going to take that off. <sighs> I'm going to make sure that there's no frou-frous. I actually am going to take some of the waxy stuff off here because I don't want those to catch the ink when I use this as a dip pen. Um, and this feather is a little bit bigger than what I prefer. But it's also really fuzzy. I don't like that. Um, you could do this with sandpaper. You know, that would pull it off with your thumbnail. That's pulling it off nicely. Making a mess of my blanket so you all could see. Alright, we're almost there. I couldn't find my normal wooden block that I use. So, now you're going to take the feather, set it down on your wooden block, and figure out what angle you like. You're going to rock like that okay now I want to check and make sure that that curve is not going to be too much and it is so I'm just going to trim this down the feather itself will dictate thank you Chase the feather itself will dictate how wide a quill you can make. And then, right in the middle, you're going to rock it forward. There we go. Not a huge fan of how that one turned out. And again, always put your knife back in here. Um, I'm not going to try to snap it with a knife, but measure with your hand up to the end. Then I'm going to get rid of this. You could keep it if you like, if it's really pretty, you can keep it, but I find that it just interferes. Um, so I don't like keeping it. We'll keep a little bit there. We kept a little for pretty. Okay. So, um, that is how you make a feather quill, both from both from scissors and from a knife. All right, thank you for joining me here on Three Talking Rabbits today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and don't catch a cold.